Chrome OS 115 is here and I'm going to show you what brand new feature every Android user needs to know. So watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss a new feature for your Chromebook. Before we start though, I ask you to hit the subscribe button and support me this way because just 2% of the viewers of Hello Chromebook have also subscribed to the channel. I put a lot of time and effort into this channel and subscribing is completely free and at the same time a mega helpful way to support me on my way to 1000 subscribers for Hello Chromebook. Let's start right now with the feature that every Android user has surely been eagerly waiting for. Because with Chrome OS 115, the so-called app streaming finally comes to the Chromebook. This means that you can stream the apps of your Android smartphone directly to your Chromebook and also operate them there. You need to have app streaming enabled for the phone hub and then you will find the recently used apps at the very bottom of the phone hub. This is really a mega cool feature that makes the connection between Android and Chrome OS that much better. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there is also a big downer because the number of supported smartphones is very limited. For example, some Xiaomi smartphones, more specifically the Xiaomi 12T, 12T Pro, 13 and 13 Pro with Android 13 are supposed to support app streaming, as well as Google Pixel smartphones from the Google Pixel 4a upwards. As you know, I have a Google Pixel 4a 5G and could not get the app streaming to work despite the latest updates. Write me in the comments if the app streaming works for you and which smartphone you use for it. Excitingly for those interested in AI, the Chat PT app is now also available for Chrome OS and Android. Also, you now have the option to give your Chrome browser a new design via click on Customize Chrome in the bottom right corner. Pretty cool feature that I already showed you in several previous update videos is now finally available in Chrome OS 115. With the new floating windows, you can adjust the arrangement of the windows on your desktop in no time, either half, split between two thirds and one third completely or unanchored. If you select unanchored, the respective window is always in the foreground, which could be quite handy, for example, if you are watching something on YouTube and working in another document at the same time, but want to have this in full screen. If you use PDF files on your Chromebook, you can now digitally sign them without an external app or program, making it quick and easy to sign documents. What's very cool about this is that you can create your signatures, ideally with a USI pen, and place them anywhere in the PDF document. The signatures are saved and can then be used again for further documents without much effort. In addition, Google has once again significantly enhanced the app for keyboard shortcuts on the Chromebook and added a search function for individual key combinations. If you want to see my in-depth Chromebook tutorial with lots of helpful tips and tricks, click on the video on the left now. If you want to know how to play GTA 5 on any Chromebook, click on the video on the right now and I'll say thanks for watching and see you in the next video.